Today, I wanted to talk to you about the comprehensive eye examination from an ophthalmologist's point of view. The examination of the eye by the eye physician and surgeon, the ophthalmologist, takes into correlation not just the findings of the eye, but how it uh, relates to the rest of the uh, entire body. When we first see the eye, we want to examine how it relates to the brain and the sensory functions that we see with the pupils, uh, the eye muscles, as well as the eyelids, all of which would give us uh, clues to how well the brain and nervous system are functioning. We also look at the lids and the tears to see how the connective tissue of the body is functioning. Then with a high power microscope, we look at uh, the smaller structures of the eye, such as the cornea, the iris, as well as the uh, pupil and the lens inside the eye. These tell us how clear the media are inside the eye so that the person is able to get the light from the outside of the world into the image it on the retina of the eye. All through the small structures that we have to examine with the microscope, the lens of the eye is where we find the presence of the cataract very often. This is a, a very common state of affairs, especially when uh, one gets older. And fortunately, these days, we're able to take care of it quite easily, but we have to see it first. Then with a powerful light, we examine the posterior or the back part of the eye to see how the retina is behaving. And we examine in particular the blood vessels, the optic nerve, and a very special part of the retina called the macula. This is where macular degeneration occurs, which is a common source of the loss of vision in uh, the elderly. And these days we have the capacity to prevent much of the loss of vision if we see this early enough, as well as being able to tell how well the blood vessel uh, structure of the uh, retina is performing in the presence of high blood pressure, as well as the optic nerve in the presence of uh, diseases such as glaucoma, which relate to the, ins the pressure that's found inside the eye. So that when we put all these uh, steps together, we find that we first look at the exterior of their eye to see how the connective tissue, the nervous tissue, and the brain works together. We see how the small structures of the eye work together to bring light to the retina. And then uh, we see how the retina itself functions such that uh, you maintain good vision throughout your life with detailed, comprehensive examinations that an eye physician and surgeon can give you. It would be my suggestion that after age 65, everyone should have such an examination done once a year. Uh, until then, from age 50 to 65, probably every two years or whenever your glasses need changing. And then in the 40s, you'll find that many people will need to have glasses to be able to read it, uh, up close, or they'll find their glasses need uh, to be uh, different. And that's when we undertake the basic measurements just to determine the lens necessary for you to have light focused on your retina. But all that is secondary to making sure that the organ itself, the eye, is functioning as a unit in correlation with the rest of the body. So I hope this helps uh, you understand how the uh, comprehensive eye examination and the eye physician surgeon work together to make sure that you have good vision for all of your life.